It is amazing to me how often as Christians we justify our disobedience. Well, I meant well. Well, let me show you the story of a man who disobeyed Jesus because he meant well. Luke chapter 5, beginning with verse 12. In one of the villages, Jesus met a man with an advanced case of leprosy. When the man saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground, begging to be healed. Lord, he said, if you're willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be clean. And instantly the leprosy left him. Then Jesus instructed him not to tell anyone what had happened. Now, this was an instruction. Don't go talk about this. He said, go to the priest. That means go to Jerusalem. Go to the priest and take along an offering required in the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be a public testimony that you have been cleansed. But despite Jesus' instructions, the report of his power spread even faster, and vast crowds came to hear him preach and be healed of their diseases. But Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. Now, I want you to notice, Jesus gave this man a brand new life. As a leper, he'd lost his family, he'd lost his friends, he was condemned to living in the outskirts of, of the community and living in the wilderness. And only people could be around him and even touch him would be other lepers. So his wife, if he had one, he had no more relation with her. His children, he no longer got to hug and love. But now this man had his life given back to him. And all Jesus asked him to do was, would you please do what the law said? Go and show yourself to the priest and take an offering. Now, is it that he did not want to take an offering? Was he, he trying to escape the offering? Was he trying to escape the journey up to Jerusalem from, from Galilee? Why did he not obey? We don't know the real motives of his heart. We just know that he disobeyed. Now, well-intentioned, he went and told everybody. But what Jesus wanted him to do was show himself to the priest. He wanted a generation of priests in the temple to see the reality of God. He wanted the priest to see. Can you imagine if all these lepers went up to Jerusalem after they're healed, one after another, bringing the offering that Moses taught them to bring and telling the priest, I was a leper, but a man named Jesus healed me. I was a leper, but a man. How different would the story have been in the temple courts even during Holy Week? But this man, with his well intentions, did not obey. So rather than doing what God wanted done, he did what he wanted done. And because of that, Jesus, he had to, it was very difficult for him to minister because of the great crowds coming to him when what he really wanted to touch at that point was Jerusalem. Now, all of that to say this, beloved, may I please encourage you that when God answers a prayer for you, when God does a miracle for you and your family, do what he asks you to do. He has a reason for it. There are people that he wants to be touched. He has a reason for it. So forget your good intentions. Well, I meant well. Forget your good intentions. Just obey the master.